Hello everyone, my name is Andrew Eastler, instructor for drugtestingcourses.com. Today I wanted to talk to you about medical review officers, also known in the industry as MROs, and their role in the process. Now an MRO is a physician, they're an MD or a DO, a medical doctor or doctor of osteopathy, who has been specially trained on top of getting their medical degree uh, to basically review and interpret drug testing results. Now what does that actually mean? Now, um, in order to understand that, you have to understand a little bit more about the process of how a drug test works. Uh, initially, when somebody comes in to provide a drug test sample, let's say in a urine sample, um, they'll uh, provide a specimen. Um, the collector will then either uh, do an instant test on it, and there's a video on that that we've gone over before, or they'll just collect the sample itself and send it directly to a laboratory. And then the laboratory will then uh, run a test on it, and then if anything comes up in that in that test, they'll prepare a report with all of the individual concentrations for whatever substance or substance is um, show up on that report. And that report then will be forwarded to this special person called the MRO or the medical review officer. And that person takes that report and says, okay, so I see that we have um, a certain concentration of amphetamines in this person's report. Um, so we need to contact that person and figure out what the deal is, why Why do we have amphetamines? So the MRO, will, she'll call up the employee and say, hey Jonathan, this is uh, Dr. Smith. I received your results for your drug test. Um, it shows that you have a concentration of amphetamines in your system. Is that a surprise to you? And then uh, the employee will then turn around and respond with either, yes, that's absolutely surprising. I was just at a concert last weekend and you know I didn't know what was going on. Obviously in that case, um, if that was a substance that was uh, basically uh, prevented or um, prohibited underneath that drug and alcohol for workplace policy, then that person would end up having a positive result. Okay, now the alternative is that um, the employee responds with something different. No, that's not actually uh, surprising to me. I have a prescription uh, for Adderall and that usually shows positive on my amphetamine report. And so uh, the employee will then send that information, the prescription information, the referring physician's information, the pharmacist's information directly to the MRO, who will then confirm all of that information and then run some calculations on her end to determine whether or not there is a valid medical explanation for that specific amount of concentration of amphetamines in that in employee's uh, results, okay? What that basically means is, um, you know, is there uh, a justification for that amount of concentration? So, for example, if you have a very low dosage of Adderall um, and you end up having a very high concentration of amphetamines relative to that dosage, then there may not be a medical explanation for that. You may be, um, you know, maybe overusing uh, the dosage that you're prescribed, or you could be supplementing that amphetamine with a recreational amphetamine on top of the one that's prescribed. For uh, to you. So that's why it's so important to have this MRO in the process because they know how to make those calculations and determinations um, because they've been specially trained for it. A friend of mine is a, an a MRO and he told me the uh, study guide for that for the exam to become an MRO is like this thick. So, uh, you know, definitely don't want to have anybody uh, attempting to uh, perform the role of this uh, process or this person, the MRO, when, they, when they're not actually trained on how to do it and certified and gone through all the special training to do that. So uh, that's the role of the MRO in the process. Uh, if you guys have any more questions, let us know. Uh, please subscribe to our channel and have a great day. Thank you.